were talking about post-traumatic headaches and what could be a probable cause of these headaches. Your symptoms might include headaches weeks or months after a trauma to your neck, such as a whiplash injury in a motor vehicle accident. You might be experiencing some dizziness if you turn your head quickly, as if you were to look over your shoulder while you're changing lanes, if, that, if you're experiencing dizziness with this. You might also have some neck pain, which isn't really a symptom of the oculomotor dysfunction, but it could be a symptom of that whiplash injury. So how we're gonna determine if the headaches are caused by oculomotor dysfunction are four tests that I'm gonna run through. You're gonna to need to have somebody help you with these tests because you can't do them on your own. So we're gonna start with what's called the gaze stability test. So go ahead, come on in here. What we're gonna be doing is having the subject or you look straight at an object in front of you. And then what I want him to do is move his head around while keeping his eyes focused on the object. Good. So if this causes any dizziness, if this causes nausea, this would be a positive test. So that would indicate some oculomotor dysfunction. The second one is called the smooth pursuit test. So we're going to be moving this object across the field of gaze. So this is where you definitely need somebody to help you. So his head stays still while his eyes follow along. Again, he might be experiencing some dizziness with this, so we wanna make sure that if he does, what we're going to do is be taking the neck and kind of turning it. So he's gonna turn his body 45 degrees. So turn, good. And then his head is rotated. So again, he's just moving his eyes, and we're seeing if this increases or decreases that dizziness. So if he is dizzy, again, that speaks to some oculomotor dysfunction contributing to the headache. Next, we're gonna be doing the saccade reflex, so shift here. What, I, what you're going to be doing is moving the object quickly and having the patient follow with just his eyes. Good. So a positive test with this would be an inability to follow the object smoothly or kind of overshooting, like where he looks at the object or looks past it and then comes back to it. That would be a positive test. Lastly, the final test that we're going to be doing is the head-neck reflex. So it's similar to saccades, but he's going to be moving his eyes first and then moving his chin. Good. And you go all around the field of gaze, see how he does with this. If this is difficult for him to coordinate those movements, again, that would speak to oculomotor dysfunction. You don't need to have all four of them positive for this to be present. So if you have one or two tests that are positive, this may be the reason why you're getting post-traumatic headaches. Now, we're not gonna leave you hanging. Check out our video next week, or check out the following video to see how you can train these reflexes to help with the headaches.